to describe how matter can change. You ready? Let's begin. The first way that we can change matter is we can mix it together. Mix it up, right? As we can see, oh, this looks delicious. Are you hungry? I'm getting hungry. This looks like cookie dough, right? We can take a little bit of that and eat it, right? Very delicious, okay? So this looks like cookie dough here. We're gonna mix it together, right? So we're mixing different matter, or different things, and we're gonna make something different out of it. So when we change matter, one way to change it is to mix it. Now mix means to combine two or more things. Now, if this is cookie dough, it's not just two things. There's probably several or many different things in it. In fact, we're going to watch a video of people who are uh, making cookie dough. It looks like they're making cookie dough. It could be a cake, but it looks like they're baking something very similar. And we're going to see how they mix things together. So, in this case, we have a bowl, right? You need to have a bowl to contain the matter uh, that you're going to mix together. And this part here looks like that's the mixture that's going to turn around and mix the ingredients. So, what, by the way, they're going to put ingredients into this bowl. And the ingredients are the matter that is going to be mixed together. So, what are the ingredients? Let's take a look. First of all, we see some flour that is coming into the bowl. Flour is a type of matter, right? So that is one ingredient. Then we see some butter, so some butters there. And then we see some chocolate powder, probably some sugar, brown sugar. Oh, this is syrup, very sweet. Mmm, that's gonna make it taste good, right? Uh, not too much syrup. Then we have an egg. You saw an egg go by really quick. An egg's good. Whoa, whoa, now it's all being mixed up, whoa. Okay, that mixture is turning it around and mixing everything up, okay? Whoa. Wow, excuse me. Okay, so it all got mixed up, right? Usually mixing up, especially with an electric blender, it's very fast, right? Lots of energy, right? You can also mix it by hand. That takes a lot more energy on your part. Okay, so that's to mix, to mix many ingredients together. You change the matter, right? You change the flour, the butter, the syrup, the sugar. You change that all and you make a cookie or a cake out of it, okay? So, after we mix things together, we can also use another word to describe what the result is. The result is a mixture. So, if you think about it, a cookie is a mixture of all those ingredients we just saw. So is a cake. Over here, we have many different candies. And these candies are a mixture of different colors and different types of sugar, probably, to make one candy. So, a mixture is two or more kinds of matter put together. Now, there's a couple of different ways that we can mix things. We're going to look at one way in the video, but we're going to mix two or more kinds of things together. We're going to make a mixture. So we mix things together. The result is a mixture. Let's take a look. Here we have a candy dish. What's going to go inside? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, here comes the candy. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Try to catch those pieces of candy, take them and eat them, right? So we have a lot of different types of candy. Well, there's the same type of candy, but what happened was they're different colors, right? We're taking different colors of candy, we're mixing them together. What we have is a mixture of different colors of candy, right? It looks like jelly beans, okay? So this is a mixture of candy, different colors. We have white, we have purple, we have orange, we have yellow, we have green. It's a mixture of different colors. It's all the same type of candy, but it's a mixture of colors. It's more attractive this way, and I'm going to steal a piece, right, and, and eat it, right? Uh, it's a mixture of different types of candy. Okay, different colors of candy. Now, it's interesting because, you know, with the candy that we just saw, right, we have a mixture of candy, but it's also easy, you know, with the different colors, we could separate those colors out. Now, if you separate something, and here we have a picture of nuts. These are different types of nuts and maybe some grains here. Um, these are different types of nuts that are separated. They're not mixed up. They're all separate. So you have one type of nut here. You have another type. This looks like a peanut right here. You have peanuts here and another type of a nut here. Uh, beans, it looks like. And this looks like dates or persimmon here. These are separate, right? They're not, this, they're not mixed up together. They're separate. They're kept by themselves. So separate means, separate means to keep things apart from each other. Separate is a verb to keep things apart from each other. Don't mix them. Okay, it's the opposite of mixing. Separate is the opposite of mixing. 
Now, another way that you can mix things together, right? One way to mix things together is to dissolve the things. Dissolve, that's an interesting word. Dissolve, to dissolve something. That means to put something into a liquid and make it seem to disappear. So if you put something into a liquid, it seems to disappear. Here's a pill that's going down and it's fizzing. It'll, it'll disappear. It will, the liquid will absorb it. If you put sugar into iced tea and mix it up, the sugar will dissolve in the liquid and the sugar will disappear. You won't see it. It's still there. You just can't see it. That's why it seems to disappear. It's still there. We just can't see it. Let's look at an example of this. Here we have a glass of water, right? The liquid is water. What we're going to see is somebody's going to put two pills in there. Plop, plop. By the way, there's an old uh, commercial about this. These pills are probably pills to help if you have an upset stomach or your stomach is, is uh, up I.O., right? You put these two pills in there and they dissolve. They fizz, fizz, and uh, then you have relief. So the song is plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is, okay? That's an old commercial, right? So you, you put them to, the two in there, they fizz, F-I-Z-Z, -Z, right? They fizz, oops, fizz, plop, plop. Well, the first one is, of course, is plop. Plop is the sound that the, that the pills go into the water, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, and they dissolve, right? So then when the pills are gone, you drink the liquid, Ah, it's a relief to your stomach. So a lot of medicine is this way. But you're dissolving the medicine in the liquid. Another way to change matter is to tear it, right? Especially when we have something like paper or fabric. You can tear that, right? And tear means to separate or be separated by force. Okay, so things that are soft, we talked about in a previous lesson, things that are soft, things that are soft can be you can tear them, they can be torn. Can be torn. So tear changes to torn when you're talking about something that has, that you, you've torn it, you, you teared it, it's in the past, it's now, you, it is torn, it is torn. My shirt is torn. My skin, oh, that's terrible if you, if you injure yourself. My skin is torn. So you can tear soft, things. That means to separate or be separated by force. So be careful. Don't, don't tear your elbows or your knees, right? Uh, okay, let's move on. A burn is another way to change matter. It's another way that matter changes. Burn, of course, if you burn something, you need fire. Burn means to destroy with fire. Burn is a destructive force. It destroys. It doesn't it destroys something, it changes something into something else. But burn, when you burn something, it's not usually, cre you're not creating anything really constructive, you're usually destroying something. So burn means to destroy with fire. So after we burn something, if you burn something, what is the result? You, a lot of things can burn. You can burn paper, you can burn wood, you can burn hair, right? Be careful with fire. Fire will destroy many things. But after the fire is gone, what's left? Ash. After burning, ash, and we can see the ash in the, in the uh, glass dish here. This is ash. It's all black and it's gray, right? That is ash. Ash is the material that is left after something is burned. So if you burn a piece of paper like this, it changes color, it changes shape, it changes uh, uh, the composition of the paper, changes to a black, very thin, very delicate uh, substance that's really no use to anybody. You can't really use ash, okay? And that is ash. Now, another way that you can change matter is that you can fold it, right? Especially if you like to make objects from paper, like your, and you use origami, right? Origami, uh, you will fold paper to make an object like this. Fold, to bend, so that one part covers the other part. It's very common using with paper, but you can also fold skin. You can fold lots of different material, as long as it's soft, remember? If it's soft, you can fold it. When you put your shirts away, you fold your shirts up, put them into your drawer. Okay, so to fold is another way to change matter, to bend so that one part covers the other part.
Lesson 15. Matter and its changes. Mix. Mix means to combine two or more things. Mixture. A mixture is two or more kinds of matter put together. Separate. Separate means to keep things apart from each other. Dissolve. Dissolve means to put something into a liquid and make it seem to disappear. Tear. Tear means to separate or be separated by force. Burn. Burn means to destroy with fire. Ash. After burning, ash is the material that is left. Fold. To bend so that one part covers the other.